Uh, Foreign Minister, good morning to you. This truly is disturbing, this vision. It's a game changer, isn't it? Good morning, Carl. I saw that footage this morning. It is sickening to watch. And 12 months on from the downing of MH17, it's deeply concerning that this footage has emerged now. I can't verify the authenticity of it. I'm assuming that it's part of the Dutch Safety Board investigations. But it is certainly consistent with the intelligence advice that we received 12 months ago that Malaysian Airlines MH17 had been shot down by a surface-to-air missile in eastern Ukraine. Uh, this footage is certainly consistent with the advice we received 12 months ago. The investigation has almost been completed. A final report is due to be released in October, we believe. That's why Australia and four other countries that make up the Joint Investigation Task Force are calling for the United Nations Security Council to back the establishment of an international criminal tribunal so that those who are responsible for this atrocity can be brought to justice. You have said repeatedly those who are responsible for this should be brought to justice um, a number of times, even on our program. Don't we definitively know now? Well, there has been an independent investigation carried out by the Dutch Safety Board with other international aviation bodies accredited to it, including Australia's uh, Transport uh, Bureau, Safety Bureau. So a number of entities are involved in this investigation. You will recall that when we obtained that unanimous resolution of the Security Council on the 21st of July last year, it called for an independent investigation, well that's been undertaken. It also demanded that those accountable for it should be held to account. So those responsible had to be held to account and it also called on all states to cooperate in establishing accountability. That's why we want to return to the Security Council to get Security Council backing for the establishment of an independent criminal tribunal and that will require the support of all the permanent and non-permanent members of the Security Council. Boy, this is slow going though, isn't it? Um, clearly News Corp have got this exclusive video this morning. It's a year on. I mean, is it frustrating for you here that we haven't seen justice for all of those people who lost loved ones? Carl, there have been three investigations going on and these things do take time. You will, of course, recall that we had to gain access to the site we had to retrieve the bodies, retrieve the remains. The investigation has been exceedingly thorough, involving uh, many countries, uh, many witnesses. They have taken the plane wreckage back to the Netherlands and have tried to reconstruct the plane. The first report, the preliminary report, was on the mechanical aspects of it. Was the plane subject to a mechanical failure? And you will recall that the preliminary report said that the plane had been hit by multiple high energy objects. That is consistent with a surface to air missile. The next report, which is the most sensitive, is the one that we're waiting on to establish responsibility. That is the one that we believe will be released in October. But it's important that we get this investigation right, that it be thorough, that it be independent, that it cover all aspects so that an independent criminal tribunal can then commence their investigations and prosecutions without delay. I understand that you've got to do all of that, you've got to say all of that diplomatically, but when the loved ones of those who lost their lives in MH17 see that vision this morning, and they, and they have to go through those emotions. And you know how hard it is. You've dealt with these families. They're going to be outraged. You're going to have to deal with that emotion as well. And they're going to want justice now. That's absolutely right. Our consular officials have kept in touch with the families. I've kept in touch with families. I know what a terrible 12 months it has been for them. Uh, today, about 200 family members are gathering here in Canberra for a memorial service 12 months on from that fateful aeroplane flight and so it will be a very emotional day here in Canberra and across the world I've been in contact in recent days with my Dutch foreign minister counterpart with my Malaysian foreign minister counterpart the grieving goes on in these countries where citizens were lost as you know Australia lost many citizens about 39 people who were Australian citizens and residents uh, their grief is inconsolable and the burden of grieving and then seeing this footage will be almost too much to bear. 
but we are determined to hold those responsible accountable. We're determined to see this through. The next step is the establishment of an international criminal tribunal. There is precedent for it. It has occurred in the past, but I'm not suggesting for a moment that it's going to be easy to get all members of the Security Council, the permanent and the non-permanent members, on side, but we will not leave any stone unturned in our quest for justice for the families of the loved ones killed aboard MH17. Well, you continue to handle this brilliantly um, in difficult circumstances. We appreciate your time today, Foreign Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Carl.